the import tool is really easy to find. Just click on the upload button over here and we can see that we can uh, either drag and drop files or we can search for files using our file system search. So I'm gonna click on choose files and I'm gonna select the file that I would like to import. Now that I've selected the file I want to import, we get a summary of the data in that file on the left hand side. It's just a high level overview. What are the column headers and what's that first column value underneath it? And um, we can see how that is being mapped in animal performance. So we can see EID, VID, sex, live weight, breed, all standard stuff. Uh, but then we also have purchaser and purchase price, which if we look on the right hand side here, we can see hasn't been mapped to anything. In order for us to proceed, so we can see I can't click on next, in order for us to import this data, we either need to ignore things that haven't been able to be mapped, uh, or we need to make sure that that data is mapped to a trait, a life data, an activity, in order to bring it into the system. If we did click ignore, it won't bring it in. Mapping is really easy. So in order to map data, we'll do this for both our purchaser and our purchase price. We just need to click on the map button. Now there is a chance that this value is in our database. Maybe it's just spelt differently. Uh, so if we wanted to quickly type in purchase, we may, uh, we may have found a, a, that something was spelt incorrectly um, and we might just want to select the value that we actually want to assign the um, the the data that's coming from our import to so for example we might be bringing something in it might have just said weight and we might think no that's meant to be mapped to live weight i'll go in i'll add it to the existing live weight value Otherwise, we're going to need to create a new piece of data in our database that we can assign these values to. So we're doing this for both purchaser and purchase price. There's three different types of data that I can assign this to. One is life data. This is stuff that's never going to change about an animal, such as its breed, its sex, a trait, which is things that are probably going to change or can change about an animal. Live weight is a really good example of that, uh, but you could have some colorings and some markings that might change over time as well. Uh, and then activities, which are things that you've done to that animal. That could be things like docking or weaning. For purchaser and purchase price, both of these we're going to use life data however there's going to be a slight difference between each of them as the purchaser is a name we're going to use text as we can expect purchaser to always be um, any letter from a to z uh, but the thing with text is we can also include a full stop a forward slash and a dash in that text value uh, whereas purchase price will set as numeric because it's going to be a number and a number will only ever be uh, one to nine including zero so we're doing purchaser right now we'll make that a text trait we'll click on done down here to map that one and then for purchase price we'll click on map again we'll go life data click on numeric and select done for that one too now we've mapped that we can see that we can click on the next button we're going to click on the next button and we're going to have some options here if we were only bringing in EID and we didn't have a VID column or we were only bringing in VID and we didn't have an EID column, we will want to just make sure that we're selecting what um, type of tag we're importing. That way we won't get mixed up and accidentally import a VID into an EID or vice versa. If we're in North America uh, and we're importing weight as pounds, we're going to want to change this to pounds. However, uh, we'll keep this as kilos. If we didn't like the name for our file, uh, maybe we missed the capital somewhere, we can fix the name for our file. Uh, we can select a session date. I want this to appear at the top of the list, so I'm going to select today. And if we really wanted to, we could set a note against all of the animals we're importing. And we could also set that as an alert note. An alert note being a note that will flash up on the screen while we're weighing so that we have to take an action with an animal before we move on to the next one. So now I'll click on upload. It will do its thing. It will create that new life data for purchaser and purchase price. We can see everything's green, so I will click OK. Um, we can click on sessions over here and in the top session we can see all of this data has been imported and if I do click on an animal I can see 
the um, values that I had imported about this animal. So we've got a purchaser, we've got our purchase price, price we've got our latest live weight and we now have this animal in our database next time we see it on farm this is the data that's going to pop up